Hey, welcome everybody. It's Robin here. Thank you so much for joining me for your daily tarot card reading for Monday, December 27th. Okay, so I will be using the good tarot. Uh, I'm having a slight dysfunction with my organization here, so just bear with me. Um, yeah, I can't handle this. Hold on. Sorry. OCD much? Anyway, whoop, and now I'm dropping cards. Wow. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to plow through. <laughs> this is going to be for all zodiac signs. So once again, thanks for being here. And remember to comment, you guys, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, so good tarot. Let's see what the highest energy available is for the collective today. Um, so let's just start pulling cards before I have another malfunction. Okay, so we do have the eight of fire. So... <clears throat> There's a couple different meanings to the card, okay? So it could mean that there's a rapid change coming in for you guys, travel or vacation. It could also mean that um, any period of sluggishness that you might have been having, um, just one more little <laughs> tweak. So anyway, any if you've been feeling any kind of, you know, just ugh, doldrums, not feeling that great kind of, um, off a little bit or a sense of dread. This could be clearing up too. This is a return to like really bubbly, happy. Everything is finally. Okay. So a couple, there's like a two pronged approach to your Monday. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm writing that down and I get this thought that, you know, one thing could actually lead to another. And who sings that song? Somebody let me know in the comments. One thing leads to another. I can hear it in my head. Does anybody know that song? It's like super fun and bouncy. But anyway, you know, doing something fresh could re rejuvenate you or, you know, just... Waking up feeling a little bit better can bring in a big fat change for you. So one thing leads to another, you guys. So let's have another card here. Let's amplify out this eight of fire for you guys. Very odd that it has a panda on it. So you have the 10 of air. So this is the end of some sort of cycle that has been dragging you down. It could have been affecting your health. like. How many of you have been feeling a little bit like just not 100%? You're still up and you're doing things, but you're like, man, I just feel like <clears throat> I'm walking through jello or something like that. The 10 of air is a complete release of something that has been stressing you out. Some of you could have been going to see the doctor for something and getting like good news that it's just maybe, you know, something a little bit you maybe need to take an extra vitamin or stop taking a certain vitamin, something like that. So the 10 of air is like a huge sigh of relief. So that could enable you and inspire you to do something a little bit extra for yourself. Um, medical issues have just been crazy the past two years. So I think it's safe to say if anybody gets the sniffles or, you know, you get a little bit of a cough or a stomach upset, you automatically leap to this conclusion that, you know, it is uh, COVID or something like that. And you could just be getting the results back from some sort of a test that say that you're okay. You just need a little bit of uh, maybe more sunshine or, you know, a cleaner diet or something like that. There is also the Justice card, which I find pretty fascinating here. I'm going to grab the book, okay? Hold on for a second. Okay, so I have the book here, and it's like balance, equilibri equilibrium, other words that I can't see with this teeny tiny font, equality, symmetry, harmony, um, integrity, blah, blah, blah. So... There is a return to balance here today. And like I was saying before, one thing definitely leads to another. You ever notice that when you're in a good mood, good things really happen to you? And conversely, if you're in a bad mood, it seems like the whole world is against you. So it does look like the whole world is on your side. You're getting really good news today. And that can really, um, you know what they say, attitude determines altitude. So you could really um, experience something fun for a change okay especially with the holidays coming up regardless of what you guys celebrate uh there is a, a definite crackle in the air for you guys to take advantage of too um so 
this is gonna be just one of those weird days okay so you've got the five of cups here too so it could be that somebody is not available to do your holiday celebrations and that could be that pressure that you're feeling here too um with this ten of air the ten of swords so you got to be gentle with yourself today and do everything that you can to make your day a happy one here you know this is going to be a pretty complex energy like i was saying before there's kind of a two-pronged approach so it, it's like it's like you can take your pick here today. Things are going to be a little bit weird. They're going to be a little bit off, but you're going to get good news. But then there's going to be something else. And, you know, it's just going to be a drama, drama, drama day. And you guys are going to be okay. All right. Just remember justice. Try to find harmony in your life and all that groovy stuff. So anyway, it looks like just kind of a weird Monday, but try and enjoy it nonetheless. Sending you guys love and light. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.